think I need Merc. Don't tell him I said that. Christmas is coming. <laughs> You're the man. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're the woman. I know. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Still no lambs. But, starting to see a few udders popping up. I've actually got some help tomorrow. I have Jess, she took, uh, she took work off this weekend and next weekend for me. So her and Chris are on tap tomorrow. Hi, popcorn. Hi. How are you? Why are you so jealous? So that's good. Have a day of reprieve and rest. I think it's needed and required. There you go. Oh. There we go. I don't want to do that. Oh, that's not perfect. So as promised today, I'm going to just do the final last minute prep for lambing. I want to set up those lambing pens, show you guys how that's done. I've showed you before. I'll show any new people here how I do that. Mark's on his way out and we're going to work at moving these bunks and straightening them out and show you kind of the process behind that because these aren't as easy to move as they look. Maybe they don't look easy. They are made of concrete and they're about eight feet long. So it's, it's a bit tricky. We kind of have a system. We haven't done it in a few years. So uh, there may be some words used today. Other than that, everybody is quiet and happy and we're just in waiting. So chain is good to use, but you can't cut it if you make the chain too tight. I do that a lot. There's a few, there's a few ewes that don't realize they're in heat, but the boys, the boys figure it out before they do. Talking about, talk about chasing tail. You go. He is not giving up. <laughs> I have to take this uh, piece of plywood off the end because down here is where we have to put the forks. It's kind of hollowed out underneath. So I'm just gonna take the drill. Hopefully the screws aren't stripped. They're concrete screws, so we'll see. or wood screws, I don't know. I think I stripped the one on the bottom, which sucks. Nice and the 
extractors. No days on the extractor. Do you want me to get this stuff in the front yeah. too? push either way. That's freaking brilliant. Yeah. It's not really that last like one. a track. Yeah, like a track one. And, and then, then it'd be perfectly straight. It'd be perfectly straight. Like oh this is my blind side. Yeah, this is your blind side. But this isn't. Well it's not as bad. Like if you go halfway, this side's not nearly that it's bad. It's the blind side on that towel handler. Because you can't Because this side's really your other bad side. Yeah. That's a good idea. Like a train track. Basically.
Wow. Look at that. You're the man. Yes, I know. <laughs> You're the woman. I know. So, uh, my corn auger, I think there's something jammed in it, so I have to take off the door. And I might have to run this auger with the belt. Yeah, I'll have to turn the belt by hand just to see if I can, if there's something lodged in it. I don't know what was wrong with it. It didn't work the other day, but I wonder, I wonder if I got, I don't know. It's a miracle. I'm just about to start setting up some of my lambing pens. So I keep them stored kind of on this side wall. They're just easier and handier because I usually lamb in this pen, but I am going to overlap and do a little bit of lambing in that pen. So I'm starting over there actually with the lambs and the ewes. So I'm just going to grab those uh, gates and set them up and I'll show you how I set them up and kind of the flow of how I'm going to land this time. I just built one of these for you guys to see. Each panel has two tabs and then you can just attach them by a rod. So one's higher, one's lower on each panel. This is a six foot panel, and this is a five foot panel. And these are Marweld, they're built in, built in Ontario. And I'll just keep adding on because they're all interlocked. So I just can keep, I put the six foot going across and the five foot uh, going deep. So there's the three pens set up. So it's so slick. I love these claiming pens. The reason why I have these, if this is your first video, you've never seen this before. I keep the ewe and the lamb when they're first born, I put them in here to bond. So they could be called bonding pens too. So a little lamb doesn't have very good eyesight. And so we have to rely on her other senses, which is smell. So she can smell mom, mom can smell her, and also sound. So they, so, quite often once these guys start lambing the barn gets really really loud because the mums and the babies they start talking to each other to, uh, and that's how they they bond they get to know each other so then when i let them out into the big pen after 20 they're, they're in here for 24 hours but when i put them out into the bigger pen and there's other babies the mums and the babies aren't as confused because they've bonded for 24 hours in this pen i also do it because it's the only place i can really observe the you when she's by herself because all every other time she's with a great big group so this is the one time that I can look at her health, I can look at her udder, um, I can strip her teat to make sure she has milk for her babies. 
just a real good place to observe the U and it's also where I do all the recording of the lamb. So these are very, very important to my system just because I do a lot of recording and evaluations right when the lambs are born. So I got them all set up and I'm just gonna show you kind of how it works. So I have a baby, 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 baby. U is following me. So then you, you go here and I might be able to deflect her by doing this. And then it's the perfect distance. It's the perfect little distance. She can't get by she can't get by there. And she'll deflect in and into there. And it works really, really slick. I usually fill this side first, the side of the manger, because it's easier to feed the ewes. Feeding the ewes on this side sucks because I have to uh, use a shovel and get over the mangers and into here. Now my friend Romy and Ryan, they put their they put their feed in the pails and they put their pails in the manger or however they feed and then they run the feed cart and dump the feed into the pail. So I might try that little trick this year. And I tried to get hooks for my water pails to hang up my water this year. And I having I'm having a bugger of a time with the Premier site. So if there's people from Premier that watch my videos, I can't check out. So is it because I'm Canadian? Or is it just because I am terrible in computers? But I get to the checkout and it won't let me, it won't let me check out. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong. So when people come at me for not hanging up my water pails, I tried to get the hooks and I can't get them. If anyone knows where else I can get some, let me know. She's gonna go check it out because she's clumsy. She's checking out her new digs. Nope, she's just eating. Okay, you guys, I'm feeling pretty good about where we are. Now it's just a matter of waiting, waiting for babies. <laughs>